Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi and today we're gonna to take a look at the new Armani Lip Power Mattes. So that's right, Armani has come out with new matte versions of the Lip Power Lipstick and you know, we have six shades. I ended up picking up all six of them. I just couldn't resist. I ordered three at first and then the next three later on that day. So we have lip swatches of all of them as well as some comparisons. Let's start off with the packaging here. So this is the Armani Lip Power Matte and this is the original lip power. So you can see that we do have more of a matte packaging here to distinguish between the shine formula versus the matte formula. And other than that, the packaging is the same. We have the same shape, same size, and so forth. Uh, it's also gonna have your click closure. We have the Armani logo here, and we have that iconic teardrop shape. I love this teardrop shape. I think it is very easy to apply the lipstick, particularly with the deeper shades, and it's just very comfortable. So let's start off with arm swatches. We're gonna go numerically. So this first one here is number 111. It's called True, and it's described as a nude pink. Now, in my opinion, this is not really pink. This is definitely a nude peach. So it definitely runs warm. I would tend to say that all six of these shades run warmer than the promo photos for these shades. Let's move on to 112. This one here is 112. It's described, it's called Stylish. It's described as a soft brick brown. And I can see where they get the brick from. There is a little bit of a bit of like an orange in there. But, you know, I would actually say this is more of a soft terracotta than a brick brown. I just don't think there's enough brown in there. It's definitely warm, not quite burnt pumpkin. Uh, there's not quite enough orange in there for that, but it is closer to that than a true brown, in my opinion. So think of a terracotta pot that, you know, has aged a little bit. So it's more like that aged terracotta. And then moving on, we have 114. This one here is called Romantic. It's described as a rosy nude. And again, I do think this is more peach than pink. I don't really consider it rosy. It's going to be very pale. This is going to be more of your, um, you know, your, your pinky beige concealer lip type of color. So it's definitely going to be a little bit lighter, yet there's still pigmentation there. So if you have more pigmented lips, this will definitely bring them to a lighter shade. But you can see here that it's definitely more peach than pink. This one is 116 Enigmatic. And this is the one that I currently have on my lips right now. And this one here is described as a beige nude. I don't see that as beige nude either. I don't know if they have their descriptions mixed up or what, but this is actually going to have a bit more of that rosy mauve kind of shade to it. It's not as cool as a true mauve, but you can see that we have a little bit, it, this is definitely gonna be cooler than the other shades that we've looked at. So think of kind of like a deep tea rose mixed with a little bit of brown. And again, there's just a faint touch of, touch of mauve in there, not very much. So it's still, it's cooler than all of these, but it is still neutral, leaning a little bit cool. I would not put it all the way in the cool tone category. This is 117, Graceful, and this is described as a medium beige nude. And I would say this one is fairly accurate. Again, we do have a touch of peach in here. This is going to run fairly warm, uh, but we do have kind of that medium beige nude kind of look to it. So we it's definitely gonna be medium depth. There's a touch of brown in there. There is some kind of like a burnt peach. And I think that's a, a nice warm nude. And then last up, we have 207. This is called dark mauve and described as dark mauve. So uh, I'm not sure if maybe there is a separate name that's just not on the website at the moment. But this one here is a really beautiful deep shade. I don't really consider it too much of a mauve though. It really is more of a rich chocolate with a little bit of purple in there, but it's, it has more brown in it than an actual mauve does. 
So I think it's a really beautiful, deep, rich brown with a touch of reddish purple tone to it. So really beautiful shade. I actually really like that one. That is definitely one of my favorites of these six. So these are the six. We have 111, 112, 114, 116, 117, and 207. Now let's look at the lip swatches while we talk a little bit about the details on this. So the Armani Lip Power Matte Lipsticks have 3.1 grams of product, just like the Shine version. So they have the exact same volume of product here. And we have a two year shelf life, again, the same as the original Lip Powers. And these are going to be made in France. So overall, again, we have the same details as for the original Lip Powers, but in this case, we're looking at a matte lipstick. Now, according to the description that is on Sephora, surprisingly, these Lip Power mattes are available at Sephora, but they are not on the Armani website here in the US yet. It's described as a long lasting matte lipstick with a rich color and a unique soft glide technology that delivers moisture, all day comfort, and a creamy application. It has full coverage and a matte finish. And I have to say, I first put this on, I've been wearing this throughout the weekend to kind of test out the formula. I first put it on, I was like, okay, this is a really nice, comfortable formula. I love the way I, I, it feels going on, but I didn't think it was gonna last very long on the lips because it just, it feels a bit more hydrating. There's a little bit more slip there. It's not as dry as other mattes, so it doesn't feel like it's clinging to your lips as much. However, I was pleasantly surprised how well this lipstick lasted. So I would not get this full day wear. I actually even wore it in the shower. I didn't wash it off per se, but I did wash my face. I had soap on it, let it run off. I didn't scrub it. It stayed on. I ate, I drank, it stayed on until I accidentally forgot it was on. I wiped it with a tissue. That's when I actually removed it. So it really did perform very well. It lasted a lot longer on the lips than I anticipated. And I will include a wear test here in this video so you can see how it performs over a long period of time. But I have to say, I am very impressed with how it performs considering how it feels on the lips. I find that oftentimes with matte lipsticks, if you want full day wear without requiring any touch-ups, then those lipsticks tend to feel a bit more dry. They might not feel drying on the lips, they might feel kind of weightless, but they don't have a creamy texture to them. Whereas these Armani Lip Power Mattes, they, I wouldn't say they're creamy like the Shine formula, but they do have a little bit of that glide, a little bit of that, you know, creaminess to them. So if you're familiar with the Givenchy the Rouge Deep Velvets, so not the Sheer Velvets, but the Deep Velvets, those also have a creamy texture. They perform very well. They last all day because they will kind of dry down and fade down to a matte finish. But these actually, you know, they're not as creamy as that. They're kind of in between that and the Sheer Velvet in texture. But, you know, they stay creamier on the lips uh, for a long period of time. They feel very hydrating, very comfortable. You can feel a little bit of that powdery texture on there, but it's really not that noticeable. And I would have to say that throughout the, the entire day, my lips still feel comfortable and hydrated. I don't feel the need to apply lip balm, uh, which for me is unusual. I always feel the need to apply lip balm. I love lip balms. <laughs> so I have to say, I'm really impressed with how this, <laughs> this formula performs. I think lip power lipsticks in general from Armani are pretty underrated. I really love these. So these new ones I think are a great addition. Now I would have to say though that I am a little bit disappointed in the color range here because in the promotional photos online, these tend to look more like rosy nude shades. They tend to look a lot cooler than they actually are. These shades all run very warm. So I do wish that they would include shades that actually do like the look like the promo photos. I would love to see some cooler tones. And I would say in general, Armani, just like Chanel, your lighter shades for the most part are gonna run pretty warm. Your deeper shades, you have some cooler shades. Armani though is a little bit more balanced than Chanel because they do have deeper warm tone shades and cooler tone shades, whereas Chanel tends to run, you know, everything light is warm, everything deeper is cool. Uh, so this kind of mixes that up, but again, Armani's very lacking in the cooler tone shades overall in general, particularly in the lighter range. 
Now, another lipstick that these actually remind me of are the Valentino matte lipsticks. Now, the Va Valentino matte lipsticks are pretty creamy on the lips. I never feel that they actually truly dry down to a true matte. You know, they always feel very comfortable on the lips. I would say that that's pretty similar to the Armani. So just something to note there. Actually, the Valentino might actually be a little bit thicker in texture on the lips than the Armani and perhaps a little bit of a creamier feel to them overall that will remain a little bit longer. Color-wise, I would say, you know, they, they probably last comparably. Let's take a look at some comparisons. We're gonna start off with the Valentino shades that I have. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the new nudes from Valentino. And these were not necessarily in any sort of numerical order, but I just wanted to compare these. So this here is 138A. I feel like this color range is actually pretty similar. So here's 138A with 112 Stylish. You can see that the Valentino definitely is gonna be more orange. Now, as for coverage, I would say that these are both similar. They're medium to full coverage lipstick in general. Next up, we have 77A. Let's go ahead and squeeze that in right there. And you can see this is gonna be a bit more brown. It's kind of like a warmer brown. So doesn't quite go with any of these shades. Here is 113R. Let's go ahead and move this one down here. Again, this is gonna be a bit more neutral. It's more of a neutral soft brown. So that's probably closest to the 117, but 117 from Armani actually is going to have a bit more of a rosy peach to it compared to the Valentino in 113R. And here is 117R, and I wanted to see how that compares to shade 116 from the Armani, and you can see that there's a bit more red in the Valentino and it's gonna be a deeper shade. It's a bit more berry in comparison. And this one here is 142A. Let's go ahead and put this one down here. And you can see that this one is more of a deep kind of a burnt burgundy red. So very different from the rest of these. But overall, although the colors, none of them are dupes, I would say that they still get, still give off the same vibe. You know, the color stories in general are close enough that they are representative of a very similar color palette. All right, next, let's take a look at a couple more Valentinos. This one here is 120A, and I actually just broke this one. So let's go ahead and put this one here. This is 120A. It's kind of a cross between these three here, 116, 117, and 207. It is, if I had to pick, it's closest to 207, but it's gonna be light, lighter than that. And it actually has a little bit, it's a little bit warmer as well. So 207 is actually gonna be slightly cooler in tone. This is 123R. Let's go ahead and put this one right up here at the top and see how that goes. But you can see that this is gonna have more pink. This is probably more what 111 looks like in the promo photos, but you can see that there is more pink in the Valentino, more peach in the Armani. And then this one here is 108A, and let's see how 108 compares to the, uh, let's see, 114. So, Again, this is just gonna have a bit more pink in it than the 114, which has more peach. It's also, the 114 is also a little bit lighter, yet still opaque. So yeah, this is a little bit more concealer lip in comparison to the uh, Valentino in 108A. So let's go ahead and take a look at the original Armani Lip Power. So I have quite a few of these. So let's go ahead and, you know, this one here I want to actually swatch here. This is 104. I want to see how that compares to 114. And you can see that those are pretty close. I feel like there's a little bit less of that white base in here, and that might be partly because there's a little bit of shimmer in 104 
that you don't have in 114. So I think it gives it a little bit more life, but those are gonna be pretty similar. So this is 104 in the shine formula. This one here is 106 in the shine formula. Let's see how that goes. Mm, you know, let's put it right here actually and see how that compares. It's peachier doesn't quite go with any of the new ones but again it still has a similar vibe i would say the closest is the 117 shade here this one here is 109 let's see how that is and 109 again isn't quite gonna quite go with any of these this is really going to be a warm peachy rose shade but it is going to be just a bit different in tone than any of these this one here is 110, and I want to see how this compared here to 112, but you can see that they're, you know, they're actually pretty close, but the shine, the sheen on number 110 in the original gives it just a little bit more vibrancy than the matte 112. And here is 113. This is a new shade from Armani, and I wanted to see how this compared to one. 16 matte and I would say that those are pretty close so very very similar this has slightly more pink than the 116 in the matte formula but they're very very close to each other All right and this here is 203 let's just put this one down here and see what that might go with mm, I think the 203 it just it's not really quite the right match with any of these this 203 is more of a melted chocolate bar so it's just not not quite the same depth of warmth that you get from the mattes and then we have 503 this is kind of a soft pink let's go ahead and put this here you can see that this is going to be cooler in tone than these shades than the lighter shades here so it doesn't quite go with any of these new mattes and for completion's sake, this one here is 507. Also doesn't go with any, but I think this is such a great, fun color for summer. It's kind of a neon pink red kind of shade. Really beautiful. It actually has some warmth in there. So if you are somebody who had, leans towards warmer undertones, this is still like kind of that bright, vibrant pink that would work. So I hope this was helpful. I would love to know what your thoughts are if you have any intention of trying out any of these new Lip Power Matte Lipsticks. And let me know what you think of the color range. So I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you very soon. Have a great day.